Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today I want to talk about a couple really cool flame extenders for inclement weather. So stick around. When everything is dry, the lighting of fire is easy. But what if you're dealing with damp or marginal tinder? Like this bundle right here. If that's the case and all else fails, you may have to rely on flame extenders and accelerants. So I thought today, why not show you some of my top choices for wet weather fire starting? Let's get to it. The first one we can talk about is called fat wood. Sometimes referred to as fat lighter or lighter knot. It comes off the landscape and doubles as both a flame extender and natural accelerant. The easiest way to find fat wood is by simply locating a red pine. I know this is a red pine right here by the gnarly bark, as well as the amount of needles. Red pine has two, while white pine has five. Now harvesting fatwood can be done a couple of different ways. One popular method is to look for a low hanging branch and cut it off as close as you can to the trunk. Another method is to simply find a dead standing tree or one that's fallen over and cut a piece off as close as you can towards the bottom. Fatwood has that dark orange or reddish color combined with that rich turpentine smell. To process my fatwood, all I'm gonna do is grab a knife with a sharp 90 degree spine on the back, like this more bushcraft black. I'm gonna take my fatwood and scrape it back and forth. So then taking your tinder, you can get that started. And then move into pencil lead, pencil, finger, and thumb size sticks. And once those flames get above the current fuel source, you can add more. Now the main goal with any fire is you want that fire to be sustainable, meaning I can walk away without any fear of it going out. The next option I want to talk about are mini infernos 
from the Self-Reliance Outfitters. The Mini Infernos are 100% cotton discs that are impregnated with wax as well as an accelerant, making them waterproof and giving them a burn time of five to seven minutes. These are very simple to use. All you gotta do is tear one in half, expose those fibers. And I can light it using the Bic lighter or ferrocium rod. Moving right along, the next one is extremely unique. It comes in three different blends and they call it Pyro Putty. Pyro Putty can be purchased in a two ounce tin or half ounce tin and has three unique blends, summer, winter, and eco-friendly. It's a 100% waterproof flame extender and accelerant where a nickel sized ball will burn for six to 10 minutes. Now we talked about pyro putty being unique. Here's a couple of reasons why. First off, I can actually mold it to a stick, which is actually kind of cool. Now I can take that stick and draw out my tinder or place it inside that fire lay. It's pretty good to go by itself. But the next reason, and I think is the coolest, is it actually floats. And last but not least, this one right here deserves an honorable mention, and here's why. We carry it in our kit. It's part of our 10 C's, and that's ordinary duct tape. All we gotta do, grab an 18 inch piece, and roll it into a cigar shape. Now here's the true beauty of this method right here. It's very cost effective. Why? Because you're already carrying the duct tape. One two inch roll, about 18 inches in length, will give you anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes of burn time. Welcome back. Wet weather flame extenders are outstanding. Now. I showed you the fat wood first, and here's why. It's always good practice to make your fire 100% off the landscape. And why is that? Because it conserves your resources for when you truly need them. Now, as usual, all the gear in this video can be found on my Amazon influencer page. Except the mini infernos by Self-Reliance Outfitters. To get these, go on the Self-Reliance Outfitter website, complete your shopping, and use the discount code PATHFINDER10CC. This will give you a 10% discount on everything in that store. I'll toss a link to both those sites inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, and I'm going to catch you next time.